so um, welcome back to this channel once again and uh, I'm here with uh, another uh, top video on ILE uh, tutorial so here uh, I'm going to uh, have a discussion on creating a sub procedure in a no main module and calling the sub procedure in another ILE program in ILE RPG so here what I'm gonna doing is uh, I'm simply writing a sub procedure uh, but with a no module no main module means that module would not have a main sub procedure okay so that module must have only must have only have uh, the sub procedures so that module uh, itself cannot be um, uh, you can say called uh, but uh, uh, we can call the pro sub procedures inside that in another ILE program so now uh, we have seen that how we have called uh, sub, uh, uh, sub procedures uh, of a module inside that module only or how we have called a particular RPG LE program particular uh, that ILE program with a, a prototype call or we have learned about how we can call a particular module but here we are writing only the sub procedures in no mean module and we are going to use those uh, sub procedures in our our, our ILE program so they are reusable so for example uh, I just have created uh, this uh, program you can say the, these modules so here um, you can see that I have created uh, this no main module so for no main module i have to write no main in hs specs so this will uh, uh, let the compiler know that this is a no main module means this module does not have any main procedure so you can see that this is commented or there is no free or end free flow free block for this okay now you can see that uh, this no main module uh, just only have the uh, we can describe uh, the define the global variables here uh, this has only sub procedure prototype and that sub procedure body means sub procedure interface okay so whenever we are calling a procedure so we can uh, call that procedure by a prototype call so for a prototype call we need to define the prototype uh, which is for compiler use and we can def we have to define the prototype interface means call interface so we uh, th this is this will act as an entry parameter here so we are basically calling this sub procedure one outside this uh, uh, domain module okay so you can see this uh, procedure is taking two numbers as an input parameter uh, by uh, call by value okay so if we remove this value from here it will uh, work as a call by uh, reference because the default is call by reference uh, we can also uh, pass by uh, call by reference with constant we'll be letting it tune later uh, means read only we can uh, pass a value with read only uh, but uh, I'll create a separate video on that so here I'm passing uh, the parameters with uh, call by value means I'm passing uh, value which means uh, for example I'm passing num1 and num2 so for example uh, 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 that uh, value will get copied to some uh, particular uh, temporary address or that address will be passed so if in case if, a, if a ch we can change the value here so we will be changing the value we want to reflect to the original address from where it is uh, passed okay so now we can see that I am just adding these two numbers and returning the sum. So this is the simple sub procedure where I am passing two numbers as input and I am take I am returning the sum of those two numbers from this sub procedure one. And uh, you can see this is a no means uh, sub procedure. So, so I am not calling it anywhere. Now I am calling it anywhere. Now I can uh, even I can call it. Uh, in the same uh, in another sub procedure which is defined in the no mean module if there is any 
okay now what I am going to do is I am creating a module for this take F10 so that I can provide a value okay so as you can see PGM 8 so this uh, module is created so There is a command dsp mod and pgm8. Okay, so if I do this, so I can see the information about the module also. So here you can see the information. Now, th this is the sub procedure which is uh, defined inside this. And you can see that uh, this is exported. Okay. Sub procedure one. Now, what I missed to tell you is the thing uh, which is export here. Okay. So you can see the export keyword uh, which is uh, uh, mentioned with this uh, procedure, sub procedure one. Sub procedure one begin and export. So in case if I want to call any procedure outside any other uh, outside other this module, for example in another, in another ILE program, so I have to export this procedure. So in case if I won't be exporting this, I won't be able to call this sub procedure. Okay. So export is just simple exporting that sub procedure outside this module okay so this is the thing which i am to tell you now as you can see this is the program where i am going to call this sub procedure sub procedure one and i am passing the value since i use the call by value approach so i am passing like this so if i would have call, used the call by value uh, call by reference i would have passed uh, the parameters or you can say the variables here now you can see i have to define the prototype here okay so in case um, i'm calling this sub procedure so i need the prototype here so that uh, the compiler can uh, detect and call this sub procedure interface okay and then i am uh, displaying the sum so this is a simple program where i am calling the sub procedure so what i'll be doing i've already compiled that but i'll be compiling that again so let me show you any pgm 8a so as you can see these are the two modules which are bound to this okay and the thing was there so but if you want i'll be i'll be creating a, the sorry, module with star source so the module is created now now what i'll be doing i'll be creating the program ile pgm 8a ILE PGM 8A and the second module would be ILE PGM 8. Okay, then I can press enter. So now you can see this uh, program is created successfully. Okay, now what I'll be doing, I'll be debugging this ILE PGM 8A. So uh, now I'll debug this uh, program where I'm calling a sub procedure uh, which is uh, defined in the no main module. So what we can do uh, if we are building or uh, uh, writing any application. 
so we can create these no main modules where we can write uh, uh, the sub procedures inside that and we can reuse them uh, as an exported sub procedures and we can reuse them in our any of the system programs so for example i have written a few procedures for example one procedure is to write one procedure is to add and one procedure is to update and one procedure is to select so if i want to select uh, that anything so or if I want to uh, write anything uh, so I can simply call that procedure which is defined inside that module so I have to what I have to only do is to uh, bind that module to our program in which I am going to reuse that sub procedure so the simple thing is that I can reuse this sub procedure anywhere for example i am going to create another program ilpgm 8b i can reuse this sub procedure which is written in module ilpgm 8 okay so i don't have to write i do not have to write this again so i can simply make a call of this sub procedure by binding that ilpgm 8 into the ilpgm 8b okay so just uh, f10 shift f10 so i went inside this as you can see it will return the sum sum as 15 now we have the sum 15 which is done and displayed okay and this is the end of the program so here in this uh, video we learned how we can create a sub procedure in a no mean module or we can say how we can create a no mean module also a uh, sub procedure uh, with export okay so the one thing is the exported thing so if you want export you won't be able to compile your program because um, compile your uh, program highly pgm 8a so for example if you see here right if i remove export from here okay i can compile a module of this okay i can compile a module of this but if i go to create a program okay now you can see program this not created because just take f10 you can see definition not found for sub procedure one so sub procedure one is only limited to the scope of that sub uh, that module okay now what i'll do if i want uh, what to do uh, if i want to uh, export that uh, sub procedure out of that module so that i can use that in this highly program i won't be able to use that so i'll be getting that error okay so what i'll be doing here i'll be making a, it as export so export will be written here always so this is the syntax it will be come with uh, begin of that sub procedure Okay, I'm making it again. Just compile the module. Just create the program. Okay. Now you can see the program is created. Call ILE PGM 8A and there you made a call. Just press you can see the result. Okay. So uh, this is the thing which you learned from this video that you can create a sub procedure. So now now you are able to uh, create sub procedures in any of your domain modules. So there you can write your own procedures. Uh, for example, you can create your own calculator, uh, uh, your own procedures in your domain module for calculator. For, for example, addition, subtraction division multiplication and other uh, maths function whatever you want to do uh, for example square root or square of anything so like those things so you can simple simply write uh, the procedures uh, sub procedures in your no main module and you can use those pro sub procedures in any of your ILE program wherever you want the only thing you have to do is to you have to export those sub procedures in your no main module okay and then you can reuse them by binding your that your nomin module to that uh, program id program in which you want to use that okay so that's the thing um, that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time